Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with episode number 14 of Noob with a Mill. I make a lot of progress this episode. I get a lot of money in, but I also spend a lot of money to try to go ahead and level up my account as fast as possible. So, that being said, let's get right on into the clips. Alright, a little bit of postcom to start off the episode. You can blame my roommate for that one. But 178 Black Demons. Went ahead and got 96 strength on the task, which is insane. I mean, I'm, I'm closing in on 99 strengths. Like, it's just, it's going to be crazy. I can't wait to start PK. I just need 94 Mage. But... There we go, Hellhounds and a Necreals task, which I can burst. Went ahead and finished off the Necreals task. Uh, ended up getting 80 Mage on it. Still got a long ways to go in Mage, but gonna go ahead and get another task. God, man, I keep getting K4s, like every other task. And I, I mean, they're terrible, but they're kind of AFK. I just, I don't get it. I'm yet to get a Black Mask on all these kills, but uh, yeah, got hella long bones right now. So task is over. I'm gonna go ahead and see my kill count real quick on these because I'm kind of interested. So, uh, teleport. I think I can see my kill count with the Slayer Ring, right? Check. Let's check. Oh, wait, I gotta wear it, I think. Nailed it. Uh, log. There we go. Okay. Cave, cave horrors? What? Oh, they're down here because he goes by level. Yep. 807. I guess it's not that bad. Feels like it's been more, but, oh. Another task in which I can, uh, I can ice burst. So that's pretty lit. Happy about that. Alright, so after the Dust Devil task, I don't end up having it, but I got a Chaos Elemental task in which I killed about another 40. I still didn't get the pet. I'm kind of hoping eventually I'll get the pet through Slayer, which I believe will happen. But here I go ahead and get Steel Dragons next. Uh, go ahead and cancel that. I hate Steel Dragons. They're terrible. They are AFK, but they're really slow and not really worth doing, in my opinion. From there, we go ahead and get Necreals. We get 82 Magic, which is pretty good progress for the account. And from there, finish off that task. And, of course, another non-AFK task in JAD. But I'm always happy to do a JAD task. Free 25k XP. Another JAD task completed. So, no pet initially. Let's go ahead and exchange a cape. And bargain. Yes, I know. Eh, whatever. Okay, time to go ahead and get another task. 145 fire giants. Uh, should I do it in the catacombs? Wait, are they? Yeah, catacombs. Let's do it. Finished off the task, but right now, as you guys can see, I did end up selling off everything I needed to sell. So the eclectics, I was able to sell off all 18,000. Uh, went ahead and put in an offer for another 20k. On top of that, sold off all the U saplings for a good four, a little over 4k profit, which is nice. Right now, U seeds actually have like a 3k margin, so I'll go ahead and do that a little more. But as you guys can see, I bought another 164 for 7 point or 70.9 pretty much, and I can sell them on for 74.8. So that's another 4k per one, giving us about another 600, 700k. Another task, as you guys can see in the chat. Oh god, Jad task. Shit. I guess I'll do it, but. 18,000 eclectic spot, which is pretty cool. And of course, finish off the Jad task. I don't die as much anymore. I'm not that much of a noob, but we didn't get the pet on the kill, and we didn't get it here either. Never end up getting the pet, man. Go on to get some gargoyles. Not too bad, but, I mean, they're not great. Another task. Just got done with my gargoyles, so... Cal fights. Yeah. Yeah. And done with the Cal fights task, so... Please be nice to me. Oh my god, bro. As easy as they are, they're terrible for AFKing and XP, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel them. But, there we go. Fuck. That's not AFK either. I want some AFK, but I'll take it. Time for another task. Oh my god. This is back to back times I've gotten Jad on the opposite side of the Italy Rock. So happy about that. Before this, I don't think I've ever really gotten him over there, so it's just, oh, such a luxury. Jad kill in the books, so no pet, and exchange a fire cape, let's do it. I think it's one and three, I should probably, have uh, just three and one, you're not lucky. Okay, well, time to get another task. Just like to point out, we did get 85 Slayer in this episode, we're like 60 to 70% of the way towards 87, and I still haven't got an Abbey Demon's task, so if I could go ahead and get that, that'd be cool. Okay, I'm canceling that, that's like the max Steel Dragons I think you can get, so not doing that. Another task, and Bloodfeld, alright, well we can do that, that's easy. Last post com of the episode, I actually thought I had a lot more, but as you guys can see, I got 50 Iron Dragons. I'm not about to do that, so go ahead and cancel it and pull ourselves some Dust Devils again. And here I am, back at the GE, of course, so I am selling on 8 zero. <laughs> today, Junior? 
Zamorakian Spears. Holy shit. For 46.6 mil. As you guys can see, I bought it for 46.3. That'd be a 300k profit. On top of that, all these eclectics bought for 29.61. Sold them all off for this. So that's like a 70 GP profit off each. That's like another 350, 400k. And you seeds are buying. I'm just going to let them slowly buy. But that is where we are at right now. So decent amount of cash sitting here once these all sell. Be pretty nice. First time I've really started to do this, but stringing jewelry is something that's decently expensive. Um, it's not really the best way to go about training your magic. There are better ways, but it's really AFK, and if you have the money to do it, I'd recommend it because it just allows you to do so many things. Um, each inventory, you get about 80, I well, each cast, I think you get 83 magic XP, so each inventory, a little over 2k, I believe. Uh, just really nice, or around 2k, I think. But it's just really nice. It brings back so many memories from whenever I was getting uh, 94 Magic on my first account. Because I remember it was always something that I couldn't bring myself to get. So this is just, this is great. And while I was doing a little bit more of string and jewelry, went ahead and sold off an Ancestral Robe Bottom for a decent margin right now. So uh, all these used halflings would be about like a 6k profit. So there's about 500k right there. As you guys can see, I've just kind of been flipping them a little bit here and there. But ancestral robe top or bottom I bought for 106928. And so there's a good 900k profit right there. And there we go, 85 mage. So probably going to go ahead and finish up the last of these little amulets and then go ahead and do my dust devil stats I've been pushing off for a while. I kind of need to start trying out this new Slayer Master for the Wildy, see what I can do with that. So, gonna go ahead and finish up my Dust Devil task. Something actually really nice just happened at the end of the task, though. We finish up our totem uh, pieces. We got an entire totem that task, which is really nice, and allows me to pick up some extra loot, I believe. So there we go. We'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, and teleport on out of here. Gotta wait for a hit. There we go. Alright, we are out. Good task, good task. Uh, maybe another one? Ah, <sighs> Alright, not bad. I'll get on to that one in the morning, but yeah. Okay, so before I go to bed, actually, two things real quick. So, one, Dragonfall Helm just went ahead and bought for 13.2 mil, which is insane, because I think I can go ahead and sell this for around 14.9 is what I'm going to try to sell it for overnight. That'd be huge merch. Really crazy that I was able to buy that in the first place, but we'll keep another buy offer in. Also, on top of that, kind of want to show you guys the collection of stuff I have from the catacombs. So, as you guys can see, go ahead and look at totems. We have 13. Saving those for the Scatizo update whenever it has a pet and a, I think, uh, helm recoloring. And also, on top of that, ancient shards. We haven't had a reason to use any of these yet. I mean, I guess I could, but 57 saved up is also incredible. Uh, it is the morning and now, so... Uh... As you guys can see, was not able to buy another Dragon Full Helm, couldn't buy on any Eclectics. I actually was able to buy a lot of Unstrung Symbols, which is really nice. I've been stringing jewelry, as you guys have seen, and they insta-buy for 150 and I kind of wanted to slow buy my future ones, so that saved me a good, like, 300 to, I don't know, 400k right there. Um, but the big merch, and my computer is glitching the fuck out. Alright, and the big merch, the Dragon Full Helm. So... 1.7 mil merch on that. Not something you'll see often with the Dragon Full Helm. Really rare. Kill me. <laughs> Fucking kill me. But anyways, we have this third age row top, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can sell this on for. And apparently, I can sell it right now for 6080, so that'd be a good mil merch, and I'll go ahead and take that happily. So, that's not bad. That's not bad. We make a mil off this, we made 1.7 off the full helm. Uh, slowly making back what I've been spending this episode on magic. Um, I think it's worth it though, uh, to get my magic up pretty quickly. Uh, here soon we'll be able to go ahead and just get ourselves like Zora and shit, so I, I'm not, I'm not afraid to go ahead and spend money to get my magic up because that shit's slow as fuck. And there we be, back on the account after class, and as you guys can see by the chat below, Third Age Rope Top has sold. So that gives us a good old mill profit or so, a little less. Uh, I was hoping these use saplings would sell on. I bought all the seeds for around 72k, so a 5k profit on each would have given us a mill as well, but I think the price has gone down, and it definitely has. So I'm only making about 2k off each one. Not that great. I mean, I'm happy with it, I guess. It's free 400k, but it definitely could be a little better if people didn't undercut, because I know damn well that's what's going on right now. And Calphite task done. Another task. Skeletal Wyverns. I'll take it. Repping the fucking just trash gear right now, because I got some uh, GE slots filled. 
I uh, don't think anything was bought, though. I'm going to go ahead, ahead and probably buy myself a whip, because I'm going to need it for this task. But yeah, Buckler and Elder Maul have not bought. Alright, so, finished off the Wyvern's task. I'm a fucking idiot and forgot to bring my Slayer home, so that task took a little longer than it needed to be. But, 131 Fire Giants. It's going to go ahead and cannon those. Pretty quick. Wait, or should I do them in the Catacombs? Catacombs, let's do it. And, uh, yeah, I don't fail merches all that often. I did here, not really failed that bad. I lost 65k off of each one, which brings us to, you know, 450k loss, but it was worth it. Um, at the time, I would have made 300k off of each of them. Ugh, it's always great to be back, man. Another task, blood felts again. I have blood felts right now on both my accounts, which is a little weird. I'm gonna go ahead and can on these. I have to upload a video. Um, hey, <laughs> shout out. Big fan, big fan right there. I guess somewhat of a decent merch here. So I went ahead and bought 4.2 thousand battle staffs for 8861 and gonna be able to sell them on for 8900, which would give us a 39 GP profit. So a decent 160, 170K. Also on top of that, a lot of unstrung symbols bought. I'm gonna use these for my own personal gain, but as you guys can see, I am actually going to be able to make a little bit of money on them if I wanted to. Because if I'm going to go ahead and insta buy one, they do not even buy for 150, which means I could sell them all for like 100 or like a 500k profit. But I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. If I do end up getting the rest of these, though, I may have to start selling them off because it's just too good. Oh my god, there we go. 87 Slayer. This unlocks Cave Kraken. That is great. I still haven't gotten an Abbey Demon's task. I'm not totally pissed, but now we have two boss tasks I can do now. I think I might have Shadow Barrage unlocked. Ah, 88. But I could Magic Pot up and I guess kind of do it, so that wouldn't be bad, I guess. All right, task is done. Time to go ahead and get another one. Please, uh, Black Dragons. All right, all right, I can deal with some KVD. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I just accidentally recorded a clip over YouTube video because I forgot to turn off the sound, but I just went ahead and got a Sukwas task. Um, on top of that, just unlocked the Cave Kraken extension along with the Abbey Demon extension. So there we go. Gonna do that in the morning. 60k away from 97 strength. Pretty hype. Ugh, made a little bit of money. So as you guys can see here, I bought... I guess you guys can't see here. You guys can see here. I bought a buckler for 34.7 mil almost. Th sold one off for 35.4. That's a good 700k profit. I'm going to be able to go ahead and sell this one for what seems to be about 35.2. So we'll go ahead and make a 600k profit off of that. Well, I guess more around 500. So 1.2 mil in total. I'm trying to sell this on for 200k loss, but I did do two black or KBD tasks with it. So I felt like I got my money's worth of that. Definitely would recommend it though. Great crossbow. Hey, oh, oh, hell yeah. Well, we got them both to sell at the same time. Now, onto something else that I wanted to do that I didn't think I'd be able to do this quick, and that is some D Claw merches. So they have some insane margins right now. I'm going to go ahead and try to capitalize on it. Ugh, I just woke up. Um, I did actually have a merch last night that I didn't record, but yeah. So that was a 1.7 mil merch on D Claws, which was really nice to have. Um, that's why I sold off everything. I was pretty confident that I'd be able to grab one. I was really tired, so I didn't go ahead and get more. But I'm going to go ahead and price check everything. We're going to end off this video. So. I want to see real quick what I can sell off these unstrung symbols for because I may actually try to go ahead and sell them because I don't, I mean, I have 20,000 of them almost and I don't need that many. So 48 GP margin on, I think I have what, like almost 20k of them? I could go ahead and sell some, I guess. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to quickly go over the stuff that we have here right now. So, the Malediction Shards 2, I have 7 of them. They're worth about 300k, so that's 2 mil, we'll say. Um, on top of that, these could actually I mean, well, not could, will actually sell. So we have 2 mil there, another 3.6 mil here, bringing us to 5.6 mil in total. The Mithril and the Aram Toad are worth really nothing, but I just want to go ahead and consider the 5.6 mil that we have over there. Now everything's in the bank, so I'm going to go ahead and use a price checker on uh, Conduit, and I will be back here in a second. Alright, so I went ahead and got everything ready, so make sure to add 5.6 mil onto this, bank value and calculate, and 193.9 mil. So that puts us up to 194, add on the 5.4, it's pretty much 200 mil. I know we didn't make that much progress as far as money goes this episode, we haven't had a ton of merches, and we've mostly been working on Slayer. But now that we're up to 87 Slayer and we are getting our mage range up, it's looking closer and closer to being able to do Zora and better bosses as far as Slayer goes. So the money should start pouring in, I would imagine, here in the next couple episodes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. 
If you guys have anything you want to tell me, go ahead and comment it down below. Um, also, if you guys really enjoy my content, subscribe. My Twitter is in the description as well. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and peace.